Nice. I like it. I want a beautiful dress. It has to be perfect. <sighs> you know, I don't like this color at all. It's champagne color. Yes, I know, but you see, this is not my color. Please bring me the other dresses I picked out. Thank you. Mom, hmm? did you talk to Dad yesterday? No, I didn't. He said he's staying at a hotel, so he went back there. You kicked him out? No, I didn't. I just wanted to talk to you first. Mom, what do you want to talk about? I told you I wanted to invite him. You should have seen how happy he was when I found him in Kakhovka. You should have heard how he asked about you. When you unblock your love chakra, no man will leave you. The love chakra is called the fourth energy center. Mom? Are you waiting for someone else? Ina, what have you done to yourself? What's wrong with your hair? Mom, I'm really sorry. About what, son? I said some stupid things yesterday. I know that dads are not sold in stores. I was angry. I just wanted to ride bikes with the boys. I'm a big boy. I understand everything. Oh, my big boy. Everything will be fine. <laughs> Vika, hello. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. We didn't manage to talk yesterday. <sighs> we already talked once. <sighs> All right. I'm listening to you, but don't make a scene. I'd almost forgotten how beautiful you are. You haven't changed at all. You're right. I've just gotten 15 years older, but I haven't changed. She said he was her ex, didn't she? She did. But he acted as if he had all the rights to her. Maybe they broke up a month ago, and now they're thinking about getting back together. And I'm coming in between them. Maybe you need to deal with this. I'd rather deal with the construction of a new building. <gasps> Mom, what are you doing? It's an azalea. Azalea, you're worrying about the wrong thing. What should I be worried about? What were you thinking when you agreed to the divorce? Vitalik said he was leaving me the apartment, but as for the business... You should have taken a share of his business. Use your mind instead of cutting your hair. Business is not for me. But it could have been for you. You could have left him flat broke. Ina, your father and I are not millionaires. We won't live forever, and you're not 18 anymore. Where will I find a husband for you? Maybe I want to find one for myself. Huh. Where are you going to find one? Well, my friend Angela, she installed the Love app, signed up, and is about to get married. A dating website? No, it's a phone app. Unbelievable. My daughter is a prostitute. What's next? You'll tell me you're a drug addict? When I'm gone, don't ever come to my Mom. grave. I tried. I did my best. This is how you repay me? I did my best. Shame on you, Ina. 
Where will you go next? To the streets? To the dark alleys? Where are you gathering? Is this your way of thanking me for taking care of you? When you left, I couldn't forgive myself for 15 years. I was looking for you. Both of you. <laughs> looking for us. But it was Olenka who found you. And it didn't take her 15 years to do it. <laughs> Alinka's so smart. When I saw her, I almost burst into tears. Our daughter is so amazing. Our daughter? Yes, our daughter, Vika. I'm her father. Huh. <laughs> so tell me. What's it like to love your grown-up daughter? Is it convenient? No need to move from apartment to apartment. No need to pay off a loan. Pretending you aren't hungry just so she'll have something to eat. Being in the hospital because she was skateboarding and broke her leg. Running around the house at 2 a.m. because she didn't answer her phone. Is it convenient? It's not convenient. I was thinking about you every day. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's my fault. I made a mistake. I was young and you foolish. You made a mistake. But I've loved you since high school. People used to call us the perfect couple in Kahovka, remember? First love just doesn't rust. I've just realized that we have similar professions. <laughs> A good realtor needs to be a good psychologist, don't you agree? <laughs> How would you sell apartments, Andri? Being a psychologist? Probably the same way mm. you would. I'd look for the key to the client, and then I'd use it to open the door. <laughs> I also like... that you call me Andri. <laughs> what did they call you when you were a kid? <laughs> Katrizia. I knew it. Should we get <laughs> cotton candy? Like when we were kids. Okay. <laughs> How is Yarik? He got married? Congratulations. Wonderful news. It was nice to hear from you. Hugs and kisses to you. Damn it. Ella, lunch was wonderful, as always. For dinner, I'd like you to cook trout with vegetables, the way you usually do. And make some meringues for tea. Mm -hmm. You're talking a lot today. Blah, blah, blah. Basha, Basha, I have no choice. I never thought that at my age, I would have to find a new husband for her. Let's sell our country house. We don't go there anyway. Basha, Ina doesn't need money. Spending money is as easy. Don't you see our utility and food bills? What if we die? She needs a husband. A woman is happy when she's married. All right, but what if you find her a husband and Nita doesn't like him? I'll find a good one. And she'll like him. She will cook him whatever he wants and will be confident in her future. When you married me, did you think the same way? Basha. No, I didn't, Basha. I love you. More than life itself. Uh, Nadia, I'm glad to hear from you. Don't forget about trout, vegetables, and meringues. Basha. How are you? Bon appetit. Thank you. Oh. Here you go. Wow, it's just like when I was a kid. <laughs> Who used to buy you such treats when you were a kid? Hmm. Mm. My dad. But that was a long time ago. My dad used to buy me treats too. <laughs> Sorry for the indiscreet question. Is your dad... If it's hard for you, I can avoid talking about him. But it seemed like you were happy with him. Yes, I was happy. Until one day, he just left us. 
How old were you? I was six. One day, he just packed his bag. Mom wondered why he was going to the factory with such a big bag, but he just waved his hand. We found out later that he packed his stuff, money, documents, and went overseas. He sent a letter to my mom saying that he wanted to start a new life, so he filed for divorce. So, that's how my happy days with my dad ended. Everything's fine. It's okay. No need to feel sorry for me. I moved on with my life. <laughs> my girl. My poor girl. My dad ran away from me too. I realized at once that we had a lot in common. Here's Anna Slavinska. She got married to a German. She's such a fraud now. And here's Oksana. She became a director of the community center in Kohovka. Back in school, she was responsible for all the cultural events. Yeah. Now, guess what Ihor is now? A locksmith? No. A driver? <laughs> no. I don't know. He's a school principal. Ta-da! Ihor is a school principal? <laughs> May I speak with you, Mr. Ihor? Good evening. Good evening, Maxim. Sergei. I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. It's inappropriate. You're the boss. How about going to the movies tonight? Just like the good old days. I don't know. Come on. Or do you have other plans with this one? Maxim is just a security guard here. A security guard who walks you home? Look, for 15 years, you didn't care who I was with or who walked me home. Now it's important to me. So, have you checked the estimate for the legal costs? Are there any hidden pitfalls? So let's go to the movies. It'll be our first date. Maybe we have a chance to get back together. I've dreamed about it for so long. Okay. Alright, bye. So you're a security guard. That's right. Know your place, security guard. This is my wife, and I will be the one to walk her home and give her flowers. Hi, Maxim. I've said everything. You heard me. So, we're going to the movies? I'll buy the tickets and call you, okay? <sighs> Is that him? <gasps> oh my god! So what? He might admit to the movies. It'll be kind of a first Hi. date. Hello. Hello. So did you see him? See who? The guy who just left the cafe. That's Fika's ex. Or maybe not. <laughs> I didn't pay attention. Why not ex? Did he come well, to apologize? Well, he might have been on a date. Hmm? Oh my. Maybe my Vitalik will come back. Uh-huh. I see him flying to you on the wings of love. Do you think I never believed that my dad would come back to my mom? Or that Misha's dad would come back to me? No, that asshole ran away. Never seen him again. Ugh, oh, girls, I wish I'd meet my one and only. But things are different. And... In real life. Do you remember the first time I invited you to the movies? 
and you didn't want to skip class, <laughs> but I convinced yeah, you. Yeah, I remember. And do you remember that there was a song? I don't remember its name now, but it said that you can't step into the same river twice. <sighs> Vika, that's a completely different river now. The water's still now. I've grown up. I realized I've done a lot of stupid things. You did. But that's all in the past. Uh, mm, I'm not asking you to answer now. But do I have a chance of being forgiven? You told me I don't have to answer now. But promise to think about it. I will think about it. You promised. You just promised. Delivery for Victoria Kovalenko. That's me. Here you go. Thank you. Please sign here. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. Everything is so delicious. Thank you, Andri. <laughs> I really wanted to please you. Mm. <laughs> well, it's not about pleasing. It's about spoiling. You were made to be spoiled. <laughs> You're very generous. <laughs> Order whatever you want. <laughs> really? Does that mean ice cream? <laughs> there will be, my dear. And not just ice cream. <laughs> you a question sure did you just text someone oh it's not what you think my friend is having some problems so I'm supporting her you're a very kind person <laughs> but what was I supposed to think mm. <laughs> well you might think I was chatting with other guys <laughs> But you're the only one for me. I swear. <laughs> the only one. Not the only one. I have... a son. Please don't tell me you have a husband, too. <laughs> he... ran away as soon as I found out I was pregnant. Well, here's to you, to your ease and straightforwardness. <laughs> Let's go to my place tomorrow. Why not? I just need to be back home by seven. Misha gets home from training by then.
Ina. Hello. Hi. I didn't recognize you at first. How are you? I'm fine. Vita, Lick, that's everything now. And, uh, who's this? No one, sweetie. No one. Let's go. You got everything, right? Have you got it all? Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Vika, hi. <laughs> You're glowing. <laughs> Did you fall in love? Maybe I did. Look at you. You're shining. <laughs> oh, where did you get such beautiful flowers? Are they from him? Hmm? You know, Sergei hasn't forgotten what flowers I hmm. love. And he made such sincere apologies for everything he did. I feel sorry for him, honestly. So it's your second honeymoon? <laughs> <laughs> Anna. No one. Jeez, what jerk told you that? I ran into Vitalik with his new wife. She asked, who is this? And he replied, no one. At that moment, I wanted to die. What a bastard. He's right. Who am I? I'm a no one. You know, girls, all my life I dreamed of having children, as many as flowers. Now, I think maybe it's good we didn't have them. I don't know how to survive now. But what if I had a child? Nonsense. If you had a child, you would have survived at any cost. Just trust me. That's true. Girls, there's no need. Here you go. But I should pay you back. You can pay it back later. Go ahead. Take it. Thank you, girls. No problem. Breathe deeply and try to calm down. Stay calm. Come with me, because Fika's about to close the cafe. Come on, let's go. You have us. Things will be alright. Everything will be okay. Have a romantic evening. Everyone deserves happiness, even an ordinary security guard. Have a nice evening, Maxim. You'll get through it. Calm down. Vika. Yes? I need to talk to you. Seriously. So seriously? Yes. I want to tell you that... Okay. I... I quit. Oh. Is something wrong? Everything's fine, but I've just decided to return to the construction company. That's a pity. I thought that... What? <sighs> that you're really good. Hey, Vika. Security guard. I remembered. <laughs> I didn't forget. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. I'll work until the end of this week. So you can find another security guard. Hey, let's go for a walk like we used to. Let's go. Then he said to me, do you want to be the administrator? Of course I did. Olenka was a little kid and we needed money. That's how I started to learn accounting. Later, the owner offered for me to become the director. You're so strong. Mm -hmm. You became the director. That's so cool. Well, what about the cafe? Is it hard to do it all by yourself? I just didn't want to depend on anyone. Yeah, it was hard at first. I had to pay off the loan for the apartment and Nolenka's tuition fees. But it's okay. Everything worked <sighs> out for me. 
It must have been too hard for you. I'm so sorry. Damn, I was such a fool. So, is your cafe a profitable business? Yes, it is. Can't complain. Okay, let's just have a meeting. Here, Olenka played a squirrel in kindergarten. <laughs> oh, sweetie pie. Oh, I remember. She got sick before the New York matinee. The teachers called and wish her to get well soon, because no one could memorize as many rhymes as Olenka. <laughs> She's a seventh grader here. She won a math competition that year. Hmm. You're both so beautiful. Hmm. You're my sunshine, Vika. Wow, you did such an amazing renovation of this apartment. I'm so sorry you had to do everything yourself, my girl. I'm not a girl anymore, Sergi. Would you like some tea or coffee? Nah. I'd rather look at you. Mm. You've been talking so much about me. How brilliant and smart I am. Yes, I have. But you haven't told me anything about yourself. About me? Let's see. Mm -hmm. I was worried about you, looking for you. Mm -hmm. If you're talking about my work, things are going well in Kohovka. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm running two businesses. Mm -hmm. I'm standing on my own two feet. I just didn't get married. <laughs> That's strange. Why is it strange? I was thinking about you all the time. Mm -hmm. When you left, after everything that happened. When you went away. You sold your parents' apartment to where was I was supposed to look for you. You didn't even leave an address so I could pay alimony. We don't need your alimony. The only thing I am really grateful to you for is that I have Alenka. That's her at a graduation ceremony. Time goes by so fast. You know, I have an idea. I'm gonna give Olenka an envelope with money as a wedding gift. And there will be much more money in it than I owe you for all these years. Vika, I miss you so much. Sergey. What? It's too f it's too fast. Why is it too fast? You're my life. You mean everything to me, Vega. <sighs> <laughs> I I think I got a call. So, coffee? Uh, sure. Here, we'll put in a concrete partition. But I think we can reduce the amount of supplies by 5%. Uh, there's no room to reduce more. Maxime, we're using German windows, Italian tiles. What about delivery, customs? Don't worry. The construction estimate is real. But him, give me the contract, please. I'll sign it. Here you go. Give me a pen.
Wait, I still need that piece of paper. It's just trash. It's not trash. <laughs> oh, Vika, Great. take a picture of us together. Oh. Mom, what's what? wrong? I still can't believe it. A wedding, another country. Everything happens so fast and you're only 18. Vika, come on. Do you remember how old we were when we, we got married? We were 19. Well, youth. Such a great time for love, for changes in life, for everything new. Mm -hmm. And we're both still young. Mm -hmm. Yes, we Mom. are. Dad, I'm so happy that you're together. Really, I love you so much. Really. How about lunch? Sure. Do you mind if we split the bill? You did insist that it's not a date, just a meeting. Yes, it's just a meeting. You should order something. The steaks are fantastic here. I'm on a diet. Uh, then you should order something light. Dorado and seafood are delicious here. You know, I have a special regimen. Oh, I see. Oh, woman stuff. But looking at you, Ina, it's... I that this stuff really works. I still need to learn to look like you. Ina? You don't talk much about yourself. If it's not a secret, why did you divorce your husband? You know, I'm not ready to talk about that. I understand it's an inappropriate question. I'm sorry for asking. Um, what do you do for a living? I'm not ready to talk about that either. You are such a mysterious woman. Let me ask you an easy question. How many children do you have? We're going to have a baby. If you'd given him a child, he wouldn't have left. Or even better, two children. He left, why? Because he's having a son with another woman. An heir. No one, sweetie. No one. Interested? Who can I talk to about work? You can talk to me? Any experience? I have no experience, no skills, I have nothing, but I know everything about flowers. Totally everything? Come in. What should I do with this plant? Cut off the leaves or leave them? Are you kidding? No way. This is a croton. It should look like this. Just make sure it's not exposed to direct sunlight. Did you study biology? I don't have any formal education. I love flowers and grow them at home. Orchids, I suppose. Orchids, azaleas, liplos. I also have a croton and a hippiastrum. What? Hippiastrum. It's also called an amaryllis, but amaryllis- Stop, stop, stop. My head is spinning. Uh, anyway, I'm hiring you.
<sighs> I knew you were hot. <sighs> I'm gonna take a shower. Mm hmm. And then we'll continue. <laughs> So, where do we stop? <laughs> no, 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 that's enough, no. What do you mean enough? To the health of our daughter, the only one. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, then I'm gonna drink up. <laughs> Our song. Shall we That's dance? That's really... Well, let's dance. Let's dance. Well, a little. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Do you remember when we were with you? <sighs> I missed it so much. You know, carnations are a great choice, but you said you wanted to propose. Yes, I do. I think roses would be a better option for such an occasion. How much do all these roses cost? Come here, I'll total it. Uh, 500, please. Here you go. When she sees these flowers, she won't say no. Thank you. You're a wonderful person. Goodbye. Thank you. Well done, Ina. You sold expensive roses instead of those cheap carnations. I only meant well. That's what I'm saying. Well done. Katya, are you here or somewhere else? Can you ride a bike? Yes, I can, darling. I can do everything. Why are you asking? Oh, I'm just curious. Do you like children? <laughs> do you know the saying... Children are the flowers of life, but it's better to let them grow on other people's windowsills. <sighs> Look, I need to go. When will I see you again? I don't know. Andre? Maybe never. Listen, you don't have to apologize. Everything's fine. You're just not the one I need. <laughs> Let's go. I have a surprise for you.
Maxime, you're so serious today. Give me a smile. Life is beautiful. Hmm? Yeah, you're right. It doesn't get any better. They're standing there and he says, listen, why do you need the fifth handbag? I mean, I wear the same pair of jeans all year round. Friends, believe me, I couldn't resist. I turned to that girl and said, run. Just so you understand, I'm buying my 10th pair of jeans. <laughs> Girls, you must agree that pleasing yourself is not a sin, but the greatest pleasure. And guys, trust me, if your girl is happy, you'll be happy too. Don't believe me? Then ask my husband what happened after that 10th pair of jeans. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you. You've been a great audience. Hello, everyone. I would say good evening, but it's definitely not good. Those who were dumped by a girl, please applaud. For reference, I've just been dumped too. I'm not crooked or hunchbacked. I earn money. So why was I dumped? Any guesses? You betrayed her! That would be too easy. Any other guesses? Impotent! <laughs> nice to meet you. My name is Andre. Guys, in fact, women have many more serious problems. I'm telling you this as a professional psychologist. Here's an example. Long ago, my beauty was abandoned by her father then by her son's father. And what is happening now? Now she's the one abandoning everyone. You can say it that way, but psychologists call it trauma. So if she's a bitch, she's traumatized. Wait, who am I to you? A doctor or a man? Am I to blame for your trauma? Was it me who caused your mental issues? I don't care about your trauma. And you know what's the funniest thing? She thinks she dumped me. In fact, life dumped her. Then tomorrow, I will find another one without rats in the attic. happy. Why? Why? Because I'm grateful to you and Katya, to both of you. For what? You've supported me so much. My mom gave up on me, but you guys always believed in me. Today, I received an advance. <laughs> I want to pay you back. Forget it. You can pay me back later. You said that you need to pay the bill soon. Thank you. You were absolutely right. Men are not the key to happiness. You're happy when you work. Well... We need men to be happy? What do you mean? Just a few days ago, sitting at this table, you said that work would never betray you. But if trust does appear, one does not interfere with the other. 
Where's Katya? She hasn't been around for a while. <laughs> she sent us that message that everything was wonderful. Maybe that wonderful is still going on. <laughs> oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Hello? <laughs> Mom? I'm home. Is everything okay? Yes, everything's fine. Wash your hands and let's have dinner. Were you crying? Why would I cry? When have I ever cried? <sighs> your eyes are red. Don't talk nonsense. I was just driving with the window open. I need to get my eyes treated. But, but, but mom! No buts. Dinner is getting cold. But I'm telling you, it's some kind of mistake. Yes, I'm Victoria Kovalenko. Check again. Because it can't be. Yes, I've known Sergey for a long time. Yes, he is my ex-husband. So call him. Why are you calling me? How much? No, listen to me. You've got the wrong person, okay? I don't owe you anything. Throw them away. Vika? What happened? It's some kind of mistake. Who called you? Some man. He said he works at Kramer Bank. He said that Sergey piled up loans and listed me as a guarantor. <laughs> this is some kind of stupid joke. But what if it's not a joke? I'm going to check what kind of bank it is. They said Sergey changed his phone number, so now I have to pay them back. Oh my god. How much? A hundred thousand. Just throw those flowers away. <laughs> <laughs>